Hello everyone, in this video you will know about the replication of a virulent bacteriophage. In T4 phages, infection and replication occurs in the series of steps. First is adsorption. So adsorption is a chemical interaction. It requires specific protein recognition factor and this recognition factor are found in phage tail fibers that bind to specific receptor sites on the host cell. And uh, this fiber bend and allow the pin to touch the cell surface. Although uh, many phages including like T4 attaches to the cell wall and other phages can adsorb to the flagella or to the pili. Next step is penetration. In penetration, uh, the enzyme lysozyme which is present within the phage tail, it weakens the bacterial cell wall. When the tail sheets contract, the hollow tube in the tail is forced to penetrate the weakened cell wall and come into contact with the bacterial cell membrane. Then the viral DNA then moves uh, from the head through the tube into the bacterial cell. Next is uh, synthesis. As we know the viral genome which consists of thousands to um, 2,50,000 nucleotides and they are very uh, small to contain all the genetic information to replicate themselves. So therefore they must use the biosynthetic machinery present in the host cell. Okay, so once the phage DNA enters the host cell, phage gene take control of the host cell's metabolic machinery. Usually the bacterial uh, DNA is disrupted so that nucleotide of the hydrolyzed nucleic acids can be used as a building block of, for uh, new phages. So the phage DNA is transcribed to mRNA using the host cell's machinery. Now this mRNA translated on the host ribosome then directs the synthesis of capsid proteins and viral enzymes. Some of these enzymes are DNA polymerase that replicate the phage DNA. Thus, phage, uh, phage infection directs the host cells to make only viral products. Next step is maturation. So here, the head of a T4 phages is assembled in the host cell cytoplasma from newly synthesized capsid protein. Then a viral double-stranded DNA molecule is packed into each head. At the same time, the phage tails are assembled from uh, newly formed base plates, sheets and collars. Uh, when the head is properly packed with the DNA, each head is attached to a tail. Uh, only after heads, the tails are attached are the uh, tail fibers added to form um, mature and infective phages. Last step is the release. The enzyme lysozyme which is uh, coded for uh, by a uh, phage gene and break down the cell wall allowing the viruses to skip. Uh, in this process the bacterial host cell is lysed thus the phage uh, such as a T4 are called virulent or the lytic phages because uh, they lyse and destroy the bacteria they infect. Uh, this release phages can now infect more susceptible bacteria starting the uh, infection process all over again. So, such infections by virulent phages uh, represents a lytic cycle of infections. So, this is all. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share and subscribe.